did look for Bob the last, not this last time because it got canceled the time before. Uh, I, I will because she's my mom. I love the way you do. There's queer yeah. protester. Different protest today. Different protest. Same protest. There's Chaz. There's Bob. This is the situation Dan May, the DA's unjustly prosecuting medical cannabis patients. Yeah. And uh, that's why we're here. It's getting really bad in California. Have, have they already uh, cracked down and made them all closed down? Well, the last I heard, the four U.S. attorneys were acting rogues, but that's to be followed up by. You know, I don't understand. I... So today, I'm at a medical marijuana protest. I actually have managed to get one of their t-shirts over me. This is Southern Colorado medical marijuana, right there. The bat. I'll zoom up on someone else. Um, I imagine some people who are watching my channel are gonna wonder why I am at a medical marijuana uh, protest just, you know, a month after my cousin Julie dying of a drug overdose. And I'm gonna try to explain it to you guys. Okay. So, I've been talking with Jason a lot since I've been uh, covering this Occupy Colorado Springs thing. And uh, I heard the list of drugs that Jason was on before he went to medical marijuana. And a lot of the opiate derivatives that he was uh, on that the doctors were giving him, you know, he was able to get off all of them, you know, just by switching to medical marijuana. So, um... I gotta think that something like that, you know, is an alternative that needs to be, you know, available, you know, as a medicine, you know, because a lot of the, the harder drugs out there that doctors push on people are the ones that Julie died of. And, uh, I'm really unhappy about the way that it, this is legal, and then federally it's illegal you know but here's uh the group right here everyone wearing white t-shirts like me and uh the back says caregivers are not criminals free elisa that's that's elisa right there and uh, she's about to go to court. Okay, Jason. Yes. Sir. We've talked about this before. Probably. Okay. If not for medical marijuana, what kind of drugs do you think your doctor would have you hopped up on? Well, I was on um, Vicodin, mm -hmm. Flexeril, um, Methadone, uh, two nerve relaxers, two muscle relaxers, besides the Flexeril, uh, a sleeping pill. Mm -hmm. um, two antidepressants that were supposed to help with the pain. Uh, a total of 38 pills a day. Uh, now I take about three or four. Bad day, five um, total. And that's with the sleeping pill and other things. Um, so yeah, cannabis replaced on average, you know, 34 toxic pills a day for me. Probably added a, at least a decade onto my life. You know, it's a non-toxic remedy as opposed to the other. So I would definitely still be on those, I'm sure. And be a zombie. I'm sure that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or possibly dead. Or possibly dead, absolutely. absolutely. You know, 30 pills a day is, is about yeah. right before you... Uh, yeah, you know, I mean... One bad pill... There was know. a doctor who actually had me... And, and I, I don't take cough medicine. I mean, I'm not... I don't take medicine at all. Um, cannabis is my cure-all, if you will. I use a multivitamin in the morning. Um, a, a tincture. And... Uh, you know, it, it it definitely was a downward spiral, and it's a sad fact that most Americans don't use cannabis, and they do go the pharmaceutical route. And it, it's really sad to watch people. Um, like you said, I could be dead. A lot of people don't make it through their medication cycles. So. Tell your support for Elisa and Soko MFJ. Tell your 
your support for Lisa and Silco and Jay. Yeah, cops are brutal on that shit. They get that pig mentality going. They brought up, get their sticks out. And I've talked about that. And I've talked about that. It's not me. It's not me. And then, you know, in that face, my mom was in um, And he doesn't like me, especially. He was cussing at me in German last time. <laughs> I hope they do because that's, that's just wrong what they're doing with people like Medicaid. Oh, no. I know. Christy's sign says cannabis cures cancer. Yes, it does. But energy drinks keep protesters protesting. Yes, they do, and this is an all natural one too. It's got diamonds and silver and all kinds of those different yeah, special order. You you drink diamonds? Diamond crushed diamonds, yes. <laughs> I thought you were part of the 99%. <laughs> I am part of the 99%. It's good for your body. <laughs> you drink crushed diamonds? Yes, there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's gold, there's all kinds of diamonds. Stuff. All good stuff for you. I've got a bridge in Arizona. What happened was um, we had another caregiver in Chase only that uh, would like to leave his door up and he actually got robbed and uh, he called the police and he tells the police, well you guys aren't watching this place enough, there's like seven girls in this place. So the police went out and they got floor, I think it's called floor, clear, clear, um, where they heat seek and so they got border patrol to cut, fly down here, cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars, fly over Colorado Springs. Um, if they had went to the Secretary of State's website, they would have seen that we were registered as Southern Colorado Medical Marijuana. We have city and state sales tax. We have a, we had all the paperwork, but the state wasn't issuing the red cards at the time because they waited like ten months. Right, it was a while before they. That's could, why yeah. they say they're charging me that I didn't have red cards. I have all the paperwork. And what, what are they charging? Uh, they're charging me with felony cultivation and felony possession. Before, if you don't mind me asking, how many plants did you have? I had 99. 99, okay, so you're above the caregiver limit then. No, not back then. Oh, back then, right now. This was pre-1284, so... Oh, okay. This was two yes. years ago. Oh, yeah. okay. You're in some change. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's just horrible. Yeah. That's just horrible. Well, what happened was they put, the Gazette put an article in the paper, they did our raid in May, and in August the Gazette put an article in the paper that said, why did you spend all the taxpayers' money to fly this plane and do all this and not arrest anybody. <laughs> Two days later. They were, wow. Well, I'm really sorry about that and I hope that you uh, I hope that you win. Thank you. I, hope that I you appreciate win. How, that. How long until your four day? Um, it's in December. It's in December? Yes. I'm going to be happy to get this out. That's for sure. <laughs> right. I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm a caregiver for one, only for one other patient. Well, so. I, we have now, we now have a dispensary. We didn't at the time, but yep. we now have it. And I've worked in corporate America my whole life. I was a technical trainer for HP. And, wow. And I'll lose everything I've ever earned my entire life if I lose this case. So. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, my prayers are with you. Thank you. All right. Take care. This is a great thing that y'all are doing. <laughs> Thanks. Absolutely.
fact, we're set for motions here in the second. The motions that we need to resolve? Not this time. So we have jury trial dates of December 5th. We're just asking that they continue to the jury trial date. Yes, sir. All right. Matters will continue until trial call. Uh, of course, there'll be a jury call first, and then we'll um, bring up the jury the next day. But on Monday, December 5th, is when we'll call the case up for trial. And we won't pay the jury until Tuesday. That's correct. <coughs> We just figure out who has pretty much who has priority on the jury trial date and, and whether this is one of the cases that will go and then we'll continue until Tuesday for jury selection. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. I guess that's that. this Facebook, get in touch with Mark, do Colorado Shack. Email list before you leave this door. Thank you for coming. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank so you much. Money. So it's continued jury trial, guys. So this is big. Thank you.